We are sorry that the 20 openings of Caledonian sleep service to Port William, Aberdeen, and Inverness is delayed. This is due to a fault with the signaling system earlier today. Please listen for further announcements. Caledonian sleep apologizes to We've been delayed. We think another half an hour. There's something wrong with it. Tycho hasn't left the depot yet. So we're just hanging about. We made it onto the train. Hello. Took a while. Lots of delays. It's the small yeah. it's the smallest trip in the world. <laughs> but it's nice. It's really hot as well. Let me show you and take you outside. Hang on. Let me show you. Here we go. A bit cooler out here. Can I leave that open a bit? Good morning. Where are we? Aviemore. The train has pulled into Aviemore. Did you sleep? I did sleep. It was very nice. She slept up on that bunk to the round. Um. And the bunks are com really comfy, actually. Very narrow. And a ladder that we didn't know we could move till this morning. So we've been <laughs> squeezing round it. And life has been super awkward. And we could have both actually been sitting here quite comfortably. <laughs> but, for awesome the, time. but for the ladder. <laughs> so, but yeah, slept on and off. It's, um, <clears throat> it was, I'm not sure how refreshed we are for a day's peddling. But we've got about, 30 minutes till we're into Inverness. And that's where we're going, isn't it? That's where we're going, <laughs> and that's where we begin. Welcome to Inverness. Good I'm feeling the trip's going to be running on Sophie time because that means that, like, there's like a time for stuff and then you add on a bit of time for faffing. Everybody needs a bit of faff. Faffs. I've never known anybody faff so much. In it, in it goes, out it comes, in it goes back in again, something else comes out, honestly. It's going to take us weeks to get to Glasgow. <laughs> So we're going to be quick, this is the official start, there's the castle, there's the monument, but we can't go in, there's workmen, there's a workman, say hi workman, <laughs> and so we can't go in, so we're just here, so this is it, we're going to crack on, so we'll take you with us. While Soph does a bit of faffing, I'll tell you what we've done, so I, I, I'm not even going to guess, I'm going to look at my computer for you, because we've done... Five kilometres. <laughs> four miles <laughs> but that has been up a hill like that the climb out of Inverness is is, is whoa, on loaded bikes and if I hadn't done the dirty reva I'd be shitting a brick right now just like Sophie is because Sophie didn't do the reva but other than that it was all right we're doing good slow but it doesn't matter tops don't move you get to them eventually leveled out a bit we're all right well i'm all right sophie's not all right <laughs> i'm all right <laughs> we're cooling down how are you feeling about it so far a little bit of concern but i'm enjoying this bit it's not quite as heavy as it has been Although there's loads more to come though so it's very lumpy bumpy <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
So we've had a nice bit of a stretch on a road, been an up over the first lump, stretch on a road, now back on a track. We're only about 10 mile in. It's tough, it's good, it's nice, beautiful, quiet. We like it. Here she comes. How are you doing? I'm all right. I've got a bit of downhill. Yeah. Should be okay. Got a bit of down. Super quiet. It's getting a bit cold coming across the top there. So I've put all my clobber back on. Feel warm now. Now we've got this big descent, which I'm looking forward to. And Sophie's. It's been a long slog up. It's nice to go down for a while, for sure. She's riding really well, to be fair. Because within the first two kilometres, she was going home. <laughs> She'd had enough. That was Forget it. This. Yeah. <laughs> it was all over. Stu now, stupid right. idea. <laughs> it's better now, though. It's all right. It's very lumpy, won't they? We're essentially riding the dirty Reva route, the 65k route today, uh, but on loaded bikes. Ooh. I can't even begin to tell you what we're trying to ride down. So that's where we've come from. And this is where we're going to. That's just...
one. No, no. <laughs> Fuck, I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> Tired. Hello. Tired. Twenty mile in, drum the jacket, and I haven't got it in me to do any more right now. So we're stopping, so I can sleep for twelve hours at least. Bit disappointed in myself. Good morning, day two. So yesterday was um, was tough. It was brilliant riding. Um, let me show you where we stayed. Yeah, Clunbeg Lodge. Now this is not the 40 miles that we were going to do into Fort William. This is in Drumna Drockit. <coughs> and um, the riding yesterday was, was fantastic, but I think coming off the back of a, a sleeper train where we didn't sleep. Um, it's been a busy week. Dirty Reaver last weekend, massively busy week, and then no sleep the night before. I think um, that ride yesterday was ambitious. So we got to Drumna Drockit at about, um, I think about three o'clock. And we stopped and had food and I just plummeted. I was just tired. I'd had enough. I'd had enough and I'd just lost my will. So we stopped and um, and we thought we might as well stop and sleep and crack on tomorrow because we've got to go up that. But we've got to go up that and then up again and then up again before we drop down into Fort William to go up again. So... It was tough, so we've had a sleep and a rest and um, eaten and we'll see if we get on. I'll take you over to Sophie can tell you what she thinks. <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning. So anyway, we stayed here last night and I think one of the, one of the things that we, that we agreed on when we started this, because we are both 47, we're 47, which isn't 20 anymore, is it? Let's be honest. It's not limiting, mm. but it is a factor. But it is a factor. We can go yeah. So we, because we're 47 and because we're not uh, eight stone whippets and carrying the world. Well, it's not the world really. We, we're not travelling massively heavy, just heavier than we... Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. We've eaten most of it now. We've eat, we ate most of it last night. Um that we understood that the going would be reasonably slow which is fine um and we understood that we would get tired so we made a pact not to pressure ourselves not well we certainly not to pressure each other whether we, we pressure ourselves is a different matter because i think you t you tend to you tend to do that i think we agreed though that if one of us saw that the other one was struggling was going to make some potentially bad decisions the knacker that they got that it was time to call it quits and just look after the other one and make decisions so that's, that's what happened yesterday that's what happened yesterday that's what happened yesterday because I, I was didn't want to be killed by a spanner with Sarah getting mad at me for not putting a tent up properly at the end of the day <laughs> top of a mountain up a mountain up and a mountain. happened to ride past a and b so that's what we did very conveniently <laughs> I had uh, I had my meltdown outside of B and B, which was serendipitous to say the least. So here we are. So we're going to set off now up the up the hill. We got we got a long we got a lot. Oh, sorry, we got a long way. You know, we're just going to go. We're just going to go, and we're just going to stop looking at the computer and the numbers and just try and enjoy it, aren't we? Yeah. 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 So let's go. Great Glenway to Fort William. That's what you follow out of Inverness. I feel free to do it on a bike, but if you've got a donkey or a horse, you may be better off because uh, <laughs> I've got to go in with the dinosaurs now.
handling. Right. <sighs> following a mountain path that is runs parallel with Loch Ness and we've both deposited more snot <laughs> up here than you is, is, is that haven't we yeah. between us I'm gonna go again now so let's go so it's off again <laughs> the snot's flowing this morning like a tributary, a tributary of Ness itself. Ness monster. It's the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you go. I wanted to high five you then, but I would have had to let go of your bag. It's the snot Ness monster. Well done, Soph. Uh, but we're up a depth a bit. We keep going up a depth. I'm sure there's more up a depth to go. To be honest with you, because there's a lot of up a depth in today. But look at this. <laughs> How are you doing? Struggling. Struggling a lot. Struggling? Struggling a lot. I'm tired of pushing my bike places. It's tough. I'll tell you what we've done. Let me look at your bike computer. So let me give you the scores on the doors. Okay, we today have covered 13 kilometers in nearly four hours. It's essentially a walking path staircase. The, this pace is glacial because we are pushing up and pushing down. It's, um, it's hard. It's really hard. It's really hard, really technical. It's hard, it's technical. We are what we are. <laughs> We're fat and old. So we are now, now we're up the top of the mountain. Which Can, is lovely. There's which been, is beautiful. Wrong, there's been some lovely views on Rio, haven't there? We've it has been really beautiful. So that's why some of our timing's off. Because we've taken the views after we've got to places. We've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed what we can. It's tough. It's physically tough. But we're also thinking of a replan. Purely for time. We don't have time to do all of the route at that pace. Do we? No. And that's just that's just a well, it would be good to get to Glasgow. We we'll have to find a different way of getting there. We've got to get to Glasgow, so we'll find a way to get there. Our mission at the moment is just to get to Fort Augustus. Which we will do... Eventually. Eventually. I hope. If not, we're here. We're here, you can come and look for our bodies. <laughs> 
will be in the vicinity of that. <laughs> Dead. Died of death up a mountain. Upper depth. Died of upper depth. <laughs> yeah, we're exhausted. And there's only so many mini eggs you can eat. <laughs> Isn't that? I never thought I'd say that, but it's true. Mm. <sighs> So this essentially that I'm riding down now is what we've been pushing up to the other side. So it's uh, it's pretty gnarly stuff. Um, and we're not on, I mean, we're on rigid bikes and we're loaded. So it's been tough going. Uh, some of it we've just had to push down. There's no way we'd have ridden it. It's a beautiful trail. It's a lovely trail, beautiful views. Worth doing, but Jesus shit a brick. Yes, let's get Sophie. You know what? So Sophie's done fucking brilliantly. She's not a technical rider. She's not a technical rider. She's not a technical rider. <laughs> not a technical rider and um had quite a bad bike accident a few years back so she's just doing marvellous really she's doing real good real proud of her down down off the mountain but well, we've got to go up another one now but look at this spectacular Change your plan. Tell you about it in a bit. That is the new plan. That is the Caledonian Canal. I always seem to plan a big adventure and end up on a canal. It's a thing. It's my thing. One of the nice things I think about change of plan is this uh, at the moment we're cycling along this old railway line on the shores of the loch and uh, it's nice cycling it's real nice riding it's not a it's not a fight fights the fight was beautiful but uh, frustrating at times and it also means that we can slow down a little bit and we can enjoy it and uh, Sophie's feeling tired today she's worked really hard the last two days really hard well we both have and it's uh, it's taken its toll but I'm kind of in my comfort zone here so it's it's good going
wild campsite on the shores of the loch. Oh, that's so beautiful. How are you doing, Soph? Yeah. This is worth stopping for, isn't it? Wasn't it? Uh, took us through trial mix. Um, parking bar. Figs. Lots of lovely cashews. Some mini eggs. Soph's got to think about cashew nuts. They're just tasty. She got, we've lot, I can't tell you how many we've eaten. It's the best thing A in lot. the bag. Mini eggs. Orange mini eggs. In bags, the entire trial mix tastes like a Jaffa cake. Um. <laughs> um. 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 What happened is. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> like two brave souls, we went over the mountain and we realised. But it would probably take us about 12 days to comp complete it at the pace we were going at. And it was no longer fun. It was slow. So this morning, let's just put this into perspective for you. We've just done about 13 miles in an hour, an hour and a bit. Yeah, with stopping and taking pictures and things. And we did 13 miles in two days. <laughs> <laughs> On the... They were very elevated miles, but they were very slow miles. On the Badger route, which was... Um, Beauti well, it, it, beautiful, beautiful views. Mm. Just incredibly hard course and um, yeah. I think we underestimated <laughs> how hard it would be. It was tough. In fact, yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was beautiful, but it was really stupid hard. And it, yeah, it stopped being fun. So, we got to Fort Augustus and had a replan and decided instead of turning uh, left and heading up on the um, Highland 550 trail, which is the continuation of the Badger Divide, we were just gonna keep going <laughs> and follow, follow the water all the way to Fort, Fort William, William um, where we're gonna go and have a little explore and then we're gonna get the train further down towards Glasgow we're jumping off at the top of Loch Lomond and then we're going to cycle down Loch Lomond and do some camping um, and generally have a nice time. But we were laughing because this happens. Everything I ever plan, like uh, the uh, both the Aberystwyth videos and the, the Devon video and which other one was that? Anyway, any, uh, uh, everything everything I ever plan I go yeah 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 let's go and cycle up over that and then we get there and go oh no 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 that's way too hard yeah uh, let's do this instead so this is what we're doing but uh, what is, wasn't it the right decision absolutely yeah absolutely. we've been exhausted poor Soph we've, we've, <laughs> but we've both so. been we've been exhausted we've um, invented a new subgenre of subgenre of bike, bike packing. packing it's called bike pushing and it involves pushing a heavily ladled ladled laden <laughs> bike we, full well, of camping equipment yeah. over the top of a mountain grown up house. shopping trolleys <laughs> <laughs> it's what they are you, what you do is you push it over a mountain and go fuck that, that difficult <laughs> <laughs> let's um, go on the lowlands <laughs> so yeah so every time so uh, Sophie come up with a good one she said we're going to call it the badger declined yeah, because we started. So and we either way, it was the right time for us to finish. Yeah, we did. Either way, you're still with us. Uh, you're still with us, and we're having a good time. Yeah, it's we're sunny. Go see some it's nice sunny. Things. We're going to go and see some nice things. We're taking our time. We're um, still heading back to Glasgow. Still heading back to Glasgow. We'll do the majority of it on bikes. Yeah, still going to get some miles in. Mm -hmm. We're just it's going to be able fun. to actually ride the bike. <laughs> And I won't need a week off work after my week off work. And she won't need a week off work <laughs> after a week off work. It yeah, would be great. But it's all good. We're doing it. We're doing good, and it's real pretty mm. and beautiful. And you feel we I mentally feel better about about it because we're actually moving. Um, now we're having a brilliant time. We're enjoying life, and that's the whole point of life, isn't it? Is to enjoy it. Don't pull it. Go ahead. Okay, can you put your gear all the way down? 
So click it. Oh, I got it. Okay. All right. So just be aware that that's now in a funny gear. Thank you. Road to ride down. Ooh. Oh, it's delicious. It's delicious after the gravelly tracks. It's delicious. Look at it. It's just beautiful. It's back on the Caledonian Canal. The other end of the locks. Here we are. Just got about nine miles left into Fort William. Where are we going on a mini adventure? But we'll take you on that as well. Much better fun. Much better fun. And no badgers were harmed during the making of this video, thankfully. The last few miles into uh, into Fort William, the headwind on this canal is, is brutal. Oh, it's a real pushing, pushing us back. Just keep moving forward though. Made it into Fort William in the fog. Well, the fog's up the mountains, really. It's not here. But uh, I'm gonna go and find some accommodation now. And then we're gonna get the train, just the regular train, out to the uh, Glenfinnan Viaduct, because Sophie's a big Harry Potter fan uh, and wants to see it. So why not? We're here. No. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm glad we're here. I'm tired today. Yeah. Had a good ride there. She rode nice well. Route. We're going to picnic on the train. So we got to Fort William. Found, found our accommodation. Washed. Rushed across town to get on this train to go out to see the Glenfinnan Viaduct. If we were doing the Badger Divide, we'd be stuck. We'd be stuck, cursing up some mountain, angry at each other, probably not having a very good time. Look at us. Look at this fine dining. Good decision. That's adventure. Get a whistle climbing! That's all Sophie said to me. <laughs> anyway, we walked up depth because we're up here to, to look at this, which you won't see on that, but there it is, the viaduct. You won't see it on this camera because it's a big fish eye lens, but look at this view. Look at that view. That's what we've come up here for. We're going off this way now down the trail. So it's like an adventure after adventure, but if I'm honest, we're just knackered. You're always a tarry. <laughs> Arakar and Talbot 
at the top of Loch Lomond. That's where we've got to. Sophie's all waterproofed up. It's not raining anymore. <laughs> it's not raining anymore. But we've essentially got the train from Fort William to here, which went across Rannoch Moor and uh, hopefully I've got a little bit of footage of off the train of some of the, the bleakness. <laughs> that we've avoided cycling through and some of the up and down in a wet and bleakness. Beautiful, spectacular, but yeah, that would have been a, a slog. So we've had a lovely evening in Fort William. We got the train to here. We're now gonna cycle down to a nice campsite on the shores of Loch Lomond in Luss. Uh, and tomorrow we're gonna cycle the uh, 50, 60 odd K into Glasgow. Uh, so we got to Glasgow in the end, just not the way we thought we were going to, but I think we got there in, in a better way, that we've, we've enjoyed more. We've had challenges and we've had, uh, and we've, we've had a good time. We're, we're having a good time, haven't we, Soph? Yeah. Oh, I am. I'm really glad that we took this route. Soph's happy. So it's all good, so I'll take you with us today. Gonna have a little ride. It's only eight, eight mile down the, eight mile down the path. And we'll see, uh, we'll do some camping because we did after all bring all this shit with us. We'll also just say though, that we've been off the train maybe 10, 10 minutes. <laughs> and um, and uh, Sophie's still faffing, faffing with her bike. Look. Still stuff to be done. 10 minutes after we've lighted. Yeah, so I've done a whole video and got myself ready and just waiting for Sophie's faff now. Still going. Still going. Still going. Without wishing to uh, preempt any downpours, uh, it's actually brightened up and it's really quite warm. So we're stripping off our waterproof coats and trousers before we continue. Mine are first. Are you leaving your uh, trousers on? Yeah. Big blue Adidas ones. This is a beautiful cycle path along the edge of the lock. I'm guessing it was the old road, but it's lovely. The safe stop. Good riding. Tents up. Home for the night. So we had some macaroni cheese and we have had a homemade burger and chicken goujons and we've stuffed the lot down us, haven't we? We're not having cake though. We're not having any cake tonight because uh, we've eaten too much we've eaten chocolate. Too, we've eaten a shitload of chocolate. <laughs> we've eaten a ton of chocolate today. Um, so there's no cake tonight, but we're sitting outside uh, the village rest in Luss, 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 we're not sure how you pronounce it, by Loch Lomond. <laughs> Back to Diplodocus here again. <laughs> Diplod, Dip, Diplodocus, Diplodocus, Diplodocus or Diplodocus. Stick your, down Stick your answer down below. Stick your answer down below. Is it Diplodocus or Diplodocus? Is it a scone scone thing? Who knows? Could depend. 
where you come from in the dinosaur country land. We got the train this morning from Fort William and we got off at we got off up there. <laughs> Can't remember the name of the place. Got to pronounce it. We got off up there, and um, we cycled eight miles. Araka and Araka and Tarbert. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we cycled eight miles down to Luce, 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 Luce. Luce. Yeah. a lovely campsite. And fortunately, even though the weather forecast was like for rain all day and drizzle and bleak, it was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, warm, really, really nice, lovely path along Loch Lomond. Le Monde. Le Monde. Sophie's Frenched it up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's because my Scottish accent's terrible. She's Frenched it up a bit. <laughs> Loch Le Monde. <laughs> I'm from Lomond. So uh, it was a beautiful path all the way to, and it was dry. So we've got the tent up in the dry, which was amazing. But it's drizzled a bit. It's drizzled a bit, but we had a cup okay. of tea. Played cards. We've had a cup of tea. We've played cards. Sophie's won every one. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I was told off of bringing things that I didn't need, and so I've made it my life. <laughs> life's We've had to use. to use as much of the stuff. The as best possible. is, and I really hope this goes in the video for you. <laughs> when we stopped at the back bottom of that horrific and the sun, the horrific day, and the sun had come out, and she b busts out these Hollywood glasses <laughs> like this movie star. She's like, "Oh, darling." Uh, so she's also carried a deck of cards over the mountains. So we've had to play. We've had to play cards. Really, it was only right of us. So tonight we've had a good. Fit. We are going to sleep in a tent because we also lost. We looked over the mountains. Looked we felt we should over the mountain passes. And tomorrow we are going to cycle all along Loch Lomond you know, and the waterways. And it's a lovely flat route all the way into Glasgow, which I'm really looking forward to. Sophie's just getting some things for in the morning. Look at this. <laughs> tell, us, tell us what you got, Soph. Um some googly eyes googly eyes look eyes to put on things to cheer us up should we need it <laughs> i've got some sugar sugar got some salt salt got some porridge and porridge and kendall mink, kendall cake. mink cake some nut butters We've genuinely wanted for nothing, for nothing at all. We don't even want what we've got. <laughs> we don't even want what we've got. Look. <laughs> Googly eyes. Oh, just open the top off then. It can make anything just... It makes anything... Just a little more fun. Just a little more fun. Good morning. We have just woken up in our little tent. And as you can see here, it's raining. You can probably hear as well. It's real. Real wet and soggy day. But we are having a cup of tea, well, coffee. And we're gonna pack up and then we're gonna head into Glasgow in the rain. Here comes Sophie from the Wii. How do you feel about your night in your tent, Soph? It was good actually, we slept really well. Yeah? Yeah, tired though. We, um, yeah, sorry. we got in and we, we went to eat, which you saw. And we watched a movie, sort of watched it. It was just on because it was company. <laughs> so I'm talking to her. <laughs> Thanks, and then uh yeah i've slept really well i didn't wake up until it was light till it was like six o'clock so it was good right here, from the road, it's been quite... we are next to the a82 it is the noisiest campsite <laughs> in the world it is soggy night in the tent but we're up we're out we're breakfasted and we're on our way to glasgow Little bit of water about, but check out the check out this glamour. Hey. Morning. It's 
sparkly glasses and everything. We've just done the only hill for the day. The hill. It's a bit of a hill on its own. The hill. hill's done. Hill's, the hill's done. I think we're following the water now all the way in. We thought we'd take you through our bikes and what we're riding and why we're riding them. So without further ado, here is Sophie's hmm? Karate Monkey. Tell us about your bike, Soph. Um, the last time I did one of these, I was terrible and didn't know half the bits on my bike. So I've got a new bike. Um, thank you to... When, when you say you were terrible and you didn't know half the bits on your bike? I was riding a Frank and Gravel, which was a road bike with as wider wheels as I could take them. Which um, were 38 mil maybe, were they? Yeah. About that, not a lot of flat frame clearance. They were marathons and they were on a road bike and there was like a millimetre gap between the frame and the wheel. And I struggled. So well, I have got a mountain bike. I didn't quite think it would get over this. So I've invested in a really nice surly karate monkey, which is set up without suspension, but it's got uh, hunt trail wide wheels, which have got a three inch mountain bike tire on them. Uh, Bridger tires, my 27.5 inch wheel. And I've got Shimano Dior hydraulic brakes and Dior 12 speed. And nice. it's lovely. And its geometry is wicked because it's only extra small. I'm about 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, and uh, it feels like... It feels like I'm eight years old and I've got my first BMX again. It feels really lovely and comfy and rugged to ride on. What a lovely thing to say. It's great. Yeah. So thank you to the nice guys at Epic for so Cycles for sorting We bought out. these. Well, I bought mine from Epic Cycles. And then... Uh, let me just tell you actually what happened because... Sophie looked at me with a big mountain bike and went, will this be all right to go touring on? And I sort of went, yeah. <laughs> Which she took as a massive no. But right, I can so, have a new bike. <laughs> yeah. And then we might tell you the Lego pedal story later, but it's very triggering for us. So we don't talk about Lego pedals. No, no. However, these have not got Lego pedals. I went and bought my big bro from the guys at Epic Cycles in Ludlow. And said to Sophie, if you're thinking about buying a new bike, go and see the guys at Epic Cycles. So we went and saw Ben at Epic Cycles. Thanks, Ben. And, uh, and the result is supporting a local bike shop, buying two nice bikes that have done the job that we wanted them to do. Yeah. They are, we put a rack on the back of Sophie's uh, because she is like a tiny, tiny borrower person. I can't fit a saddle post. We can't bag put. On mine. I'm the same, really. We can't. So we've put racks on the back so we can use our small panniers to put lightweight stuff in. Um, <laughs> lightweight <laughs> stuff. Light, <laughs> yes, lightweight. And um, and we got bar bags and some front because we carried some food and trail mix. <laughs> lots and lots of trail mix. Yeah. So yeah. So we've got two front fork bags bag on the front the sleeping bag two little pod sacks one in the middle here for phone and stuff and then electronics in there isn't it these B &M as well. bargains b and m bargains but these pod sacks from um planet x yeah. i've got to say for They're the money brilliant. have been brilliant really good absolutely brilliant and that's mine which is essentially the same kind of setup but on a big bro frame we've been fully loaded up um we've pedaled some pretty hard going terrain um very lumpy bumpy rocky brick very bricky very bricky and it's been brilliant it's handled really well so if you had a real bad bike crash some years ago and although he's a very fit and strong and determined person i think had lost a bit of confidence is that fair to say riding a bike yeah things like this and i'm going to tell you and i'm hoping it will come across in the video because watching soph ride this morning as opposed to riding when we first set off she's like a different rider because of the terrain i think we've covered i think your confidence has gone through the roof it's been good to get used to it yeah for sure 
And that's not just down to the bike, I think that's no, just... No, I think it's just day to day doing, like being out on places that I'm not used to riding on. Mm. On a bike that feels much more secure for me and my size. Yeah, good size for you. Yeah. So that's it, they're the setups. Oatly panniers for me, Oatly panniers for Soph, Happy Jura. All I've got in here is my Shiwi and Day Bits. Haven't really touched this if I'm honest, it's stuff that I need that uh, <coughs> that I don't need, if you know what I mean, just in cases. Tools, trail mix, mm. camera pouch and chamois cream, very important. Tent and sleeping bag on the front with day bag. Might tell you a bit more later. Following the river cycle path now all the way into Glasgow, which is very pleasant. After all the lumber, lumpy bumpy. Very, very nice. Yeah. Very chill. Legs are a bit thankful. Yeah. Nice, easy pedaling. Nice, easy gliding. Come on, there we go. Let's go again. And that's how it happens, kids, in the rain, coming around the corner. Oh, I fucking crashed. Just slid and ended up in that ditch. Helmets bashed, landed on my ribs. And, oh, I cracked my head, apparently. Oh, so we're gonna run into Glasgow, and then if I need to go to hospital, I need to go to hospital, but. That's painful. Let me update you on the end on the end of today. Whilst I convalesce, I know I look like I'm in a hospital bed, but I'm not. We're actually in the Radisson Blue in Glasgow, which was meant to be a, a celebratory evening of look what a brilliant adventure we've had. But I actually came off pretty hard earlier, and. Uh, I've certainly cracked, if not broken, a couple of ribs. Um, <laughs> Sophie has been my nursemaid and has, has slathered me in ibuprofen gel, fed me paracetamol, got me room service, been out and bought cheesecake. So I've been very well looked after. But it's not quite the celebratory evening we planned in Glasgow, which is more more gutting than anything. <clears throat> unfortunately so we'll just have to come back uh, on the plus side though I've got a very nice caterpillar plaster and a very nice ladybird plaster on my poorly hand from Sophie he's been brilliant uh, so that's it I don't know what else to tell you apart from brilliant adventure rubbish end I'm going to give the camera to Sophie, who's going to tell you what happened. Well, we were crossing a bridge earlier on and uh, Sarah was ahead of me and her front wheel and most of her body was over the bridge and her back wheel slipped out from underneath her on the wet uh, boardwalk and she just took a bit of a nasty tumble so yeah, it's not been very good. She's made a big dent in her helmet, which luckily wasn't a big dent in her head. And she's pretty sore, but I think she's gonna be okay. I'll live. Um, she'll live. Um, so yeah, just gotta keep providing pizza now until she gets better and we get a train home tomorrow. Yes. I think it'll be okay. But all in all, a brilliant adventure. Just not the ending we planned, but it never is with us, is it? It never is with us. We've gone from riding the Badger Divide to ending up in the Radisson Blue in Glasgow with, with potentially broken ribs. It's joyous. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the adventure. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. There are the Glasgow Sirens. And also if you'd like to see more adventures or non-adventures or adventures with a twist, let's say, hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Bye.